We, we know <laughs> really uh, well that the stones here, uh, by the amount of beryllium you can try to estimate the quantity, by the amount of chromium and iron and the relation between two, you actually by the amount of chromium you can know the quality or the color, by the amount of vanadium and iron you can know, you can know if it's bluish or yellowish stone, and by the, um, the relation that's the new thing now, we are working on it. The relation of chromium and iron, you can try to foresee the kind of crystal. But then we are not good in it. We are working on it. You know, we know that some elements make the crystal weaker, some elements make the crystal stronger, and, and, and looks like there is something regarding the, the relationship between all that makes the stone a more um, opaque, ugly crystal or nicer, lighter crystal. There's something bitter. And then when, when this is something that you can try to not to, to, to say only about Belmomai, but you can, you can really make this relationship between all the mines in the world. Because this is related to the emerald itself, not uh, the chemistry of the, of the flogopine. You know, if you talk about, this is something new, and what I'm telling you is new, it's not in any book, and no one haven't uh, studied about it. But if you get a Zambia emerald, a Colombian emerald, a Brazilian emerald, and you sample a lot of the stone, and you see top quality crystal in every place, you're gonna see some relation between these three elements. Iron, chromium, and beryllium content. But I'm talking about cloudy things, or the, you know, the crystal is milkish, or it's a nice crystal, and the life, the fire, it comes out of the crystal. It's related to the element. I'm not sure how they are involved in this, but it's related to the elements. If you go to some, some, uh, some areas, you find usually some uh, very yellowish stones or um, light stones like Colombian, like Nova Era, like the ones we mine here in the north. They are yellowish, they are lighter, so it has less chromium, but on the hand they are top clarity and crystal, you know. And then you have the opposite, the dark uh, uh, bluish ones, like in Zambia, like we have here, like the ones that are not so bluish but dark, like Muzu. So in the middle there is something that happens when you have the, the nice green we like, there is something happening that is more difficult. You know, there's something related to when chromium goes up, looks like the crystal is weaker. You know, it's something weird. It could be the size of the chromium ions. This is, I've heard yeah, this, this is an observation, you know. It's my observation, trying. We, we here in Belmont try, why why we have, we have here a very top green, almost black stone? The crystal is amazing. And then you have a lighter one, the crystal is amazing. Why in the middle it's not happening that, like that? You know, this, but then when you test the stone, the chromium is not high in this stone. There's something related to that. <laughs>